Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And Roaring Fire makes excellent EDC and tool storage. Here's a small tool roll, uh, Roaring Fire larger tool roll. Here is a couple of EDC pouches. Um, I've done videos on things like this, you know, loaded them up, tried them out. Excellent, excellent quality, nice and versatile. I want to get into this though today. This is the Roaring Fire Razorback car or truck backseat organizer. You've probably seen things like this. They slide over uh, up here, the headrest of a seat, a car seat, and then this drapes down across the back of the car seat, which then provides EDC storage, um, organization, administration, etc. Um, down the back of it, if you put it on the passenger side, generally it's also accessible to the driver because you can reach around easily behind the passenger seat. I pulled this out of my truck. I've been using it, and it for the price, about 47 bucks. Generally, you can get it on sale um, or with a discount, but it also has um, a lot of features. First of all, it's got a very large swath of the hook side, or the, excuse me, the, the loop side of hook and loop, you know, AKA Velcro across the top. And I'll show you some options there. It's got three rows of Molly uh, um, in non-stretchable webbing here, which is great for attaching uh, molly components or anything that'll slide down into the, into the uh, molly slots. Down here it's got three elastic uh, ladders running across horizontally and one vertically. And then inside here is access to the interior and this entire thing from top to bottom is a giant bag. So whatever you want to put up inside here um, you can right through this access point. Um, it's made of a feel like a heavier Cordura material. It's got a stiffener in it, so it maintains its shape. Um, down here, we've got a smooth webbing for the seat strap. So this goes around the passenger, or goes around whatever seat, and this then can be snugged up with an offset buckle there so it doesn't get in the way. But let's start up here at the top. That hook and loop, first of all, it comes with two pouches here. I'm going to put them on backwards just so it doesn't, I don't have to rip them off and make a lot of noise but this um, can be used for first aid that's my was my original intent and I was gonna have two two types obviously a trauma first aid kit uh, which you know has quick clot is really bandaged stuff like that uh, tourniquet but also then um, a standard kind of boo-boo kit but I've been working on another first aid kit um, to replace one that I gave away give us give a lot of stuff away but anyway and it's in this form here again a tear off so once that's on there you can just rip it off and go um, I had another one full um, uh, full of basic first aid stuff and somebody needed it so gave it to them because I enjoy building these kits out um, so I've gone to my old first aid kit as I upgrade this um, another thing there are lots and lots of uh, different kinds of um, kind of these this is the this is the hook side of the hook and loop um, that I could easily drop on there um, it's I've got some from Maxpedition here this particular thing is a um, just like a bag um, this is breathable so I could put wet things in there or whatever or stuff I needed to see I've got lots of these little pouches I use them on all kinds of different things but those easily can stick on there and provide you know administrative uh, organization. Um, I have a larger one right here with the big full drop that on there. Um, as far as going into the molly ladders here, um, maybe I want to put my, my can opener. Um, I can just snap it right in and it'll stay easily accessible right there, maybe off to the side. I've got lots of uh, different kinds of pouches that have the kind of the quick snap for molly. Those easily slide right down there. I can pull them off easily if I need to. Um, but again, provide basic um, organization, basic uh, storage in, in something that's kind of segregated. So I could do like, maybe this is my fire stuff. So if I want to stop somewhere um, camping, I can pull that off and I've got everything to start the fire in there. Maybe it's got um, some small repair stuff. Maybe it's got signaling. Maybe it's got, um, you know, flashlights, batteries, um, maybe a small pair of binoculars. I mean, it's, it's whatever I want. Um, and of course I can swap these around, you know, depending on my trip. And then down here, you know, anything that you want that 
that just slides in and you want a little bit of organization, you know, pocket knives are kind of like a no brainer. It's always right there, easy to pop it out. So this organizer, um, as I think I mentioned, was is about 47 bucks, um, which as far as organizers go, it comes in as a good price for a quality organizer. Some are a lot more expensive, some are a lot less feature filled. Um, but I was glad to see Roaring Fire enter this space because the, the chances of, let me get rid of these, um, the chances of uh, you actually using something like this are extremely high because it is so convenient. Um, the moment I put it on, the moment I realized I, I should have gotten something like this years ago. Well, now I've got one and now I'm realizing just how big a benefit it is to have that kind of storage in that location. Um, anyway, so there it is, the Roaring Fire Razorback Car Seat Organizer. And with that, Doc out.